Okay, guys, I'm back. I seen an article uh, running around the interwebs. Tom Brady now has his own signature car. It's a convertible. It is not a Dodge. It is not a Chevy, and it is certainly not a Ford. It is an Aston Martin. What else could it be for TB12? Now, these cars are actually called the TB12 with his insignia uh, all over the car. He helped design the car, uh, decorate it, if you will. And they're only making 12 of these, ironically, and Tom Brady is not getting one. Uh, the car comes in one color, and they have it like a submarine black or something they call it. Ultramarine black, there you go. Uh, the dark leather seats, with dark leather seats, paddle shift tips made out of California poppy leather. I have no freaking idea what that is. And Brady's TB12 logo is also featured in the car, specifically on the bumper and in the headrest. Now, Brady signed with uh, these guys back in May. Uh, he will not get one of these cars. Uh, he will have to pay $360,000 for one if he wants one. I don't see him getting one of these cars. That's a little over the top. But then again, remember when he won that truck or whatever, that Chevy truck, and he pretty much like was insulted by this truck. <laughs> he was going to give it away. But, you know, I get that, whatever it is. Uh, it's you know so he's probably got a hundred cars so it's, it's and those are nice trucks it's irrelevant but this is a sweet ass car these uh, Aston Martin Vanquish S Volantes that's what his car is going to be uh, it technically is upgraded version uh, with the TB12 logo etc some other things so yeah for a cool three hundred sixty thousand uh, you can get uh, one of these cars this is not the convertible but uh, yeah, apparently Tom's are only convertibles, you know, only the best for Tom. And uh, you know, I don't know if this is if this is the first time a professional athlete has ever had his name on a car that I can, that I can possibly think of, and that includes Michael Jordan, so, which is pretty surprising actually. Um, but somebody help me on that. Maybe there is somebody else. Anyway, 360k, you can have your own TB12 Aston Martin convertible. And these cars pump out about 580 horsepower, I believe. Yeah, the Vanquish S is boosted to 580. It's at a V12. That's pretty sweet, man. V12. You think a V12 would have a little more horsepower, though. Anyway, it does say that Aston Martins, I was reading some reviews, are, do have some flaws. Uh, you know, they have some quality issues, I, I guess. This thing's not going to get very good mileage um goes 200 miles an hour though 0 to 60 and 3.6 which is pretty damn fast uh, i would think it'd be faster but it is what it is beautiful car i guess you don't buy it to be the fastest you buy it to you have one of the most gorgeous cars on the road and that is certainly an aston martin